Hi there, Tony from Crew AI. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to integrate an MCP server as a Crew AI tool that your AI agent can then use to be able to perform specific operations based on the tools that are within that server. This just rolled out yesterday, so the docs are pretty fresh. At the moment, we support the two transport types that they have, which is the standard input and output, and also server send events. We are also working on integrating streamable HTTP since that will be replacing the SSC eventually. At least that's what MCP protocol envisions that to be the case. So at the moment we have SSC and standard input and output. And this guide here just walks you through how to install the tools from Crew AI to be able to use MCP servers as a tool. And then walks you through how to integrate that for your standard IO example there and also your SSE example here as well. Once we have the streamable one, we'll be able to add that here as an example as well. But on the theory side of it, let's go ahead and actually have some examples that you can run today. So the first demo that we wanna go over is standard input and output transport type. And in this case, we're just gonna go over how do you connect MCP server to your crew AI agents to use that server as a tool within your agents. So this is the main integration page where we have or the client side, which we have our agents and then we have the transport system instantiated and also connected to our MCP server to use as a tool. So the tool that we're going to be using or the server that I built locally for demonstration purposes is a math server. So it essentially has specific functions or tools within it. Call it, you have add, subtract, multiply, divide, power and square root. So those are the tools that are within that MCP server and they are passed over to our standard input and output where the agents can pick which one of them to use that specific given problem that I gave it to solve, for example. So how does the integration work? So as regular, you would start just importing your crew AI agents, a task, crew, process, LLM, all that. And then the next piece where the integration really happens is in crew AI tools. So from crew AI tools, you import MCP server adapter. So that is our adapter that adapts on top of the MCP server and to be able to pass in inputs from the user to the MCP server to do the to do the calculations, pass it back to the agents to be able to continue the process of, of doing the work. So we also here have MCP import standard input and output parameters as well. So that's the main one that we call here. So from here, this is where we create the MCP server parameter object itself. And within that, there's a command which you pass in the command that you would pass to run the, the file itself or the server. I have Python 3 for me. You could use UVX if you like as well. And then for arguments, you give the path to your server. So for us, it's under service directory and we pass that in there. And then for environment, UV Python, I'm using 3.12 locally and we're just passing all the environment variables that we might have for that. The standard input output server parameter has also other parameters that you can pass in as well. There's CMD, there's encoding, there's encoding error handler. I haven't used those in here, but you can feel free to explore that as well. And then it comes to maintaining context part, which is pretty cool as well here. So with MCP server adapter, we just instantiate that. We pass in the server parameters, which we've already instantiated here in the variable, and we call those as tools. So all of those will be grabbed and they'll be used as tools. So that we're wrapping it and we print here all the tools that we find from that server. So that way we know which tools are within that server. That's really for information purposes or logging in this case. And then we instantiate our agents here. So I only have one agent here and it's a mathematician and this mathematician is going to have the tools to be able to do math. And those tools are going to be under the math server here. And I've given it a few goals, backstory, and the tools were both true as regular. And then I've created a task for it here. So solve the math problem and interpolated the math problem, which will be able to be passed in here from the user side of things. And the expected output is the correct answer to the math problem using the available tools of which they have access to. Now let's go ahead and run it. And the other thing too here, I set the environment variables and in this .env here, I've added my model name and also my API key. I'm using OpenAI in there. You can use whatever model provider you want to use, but that's where you would set them before you run it. And let's go ahead and run this. So here, the problem we're solving is the square root of 2.25. So the first step we need to do is create a virtual environment, which I haven't created. So Python 3, virtual environment, VNV and activate the virtual environment. Now, once we've created the virtual environment, the next step is installing Crew AI tools and MCP as well. With MCP, that's the command that we have in the docs. So once that finishes, then we're able to kick off our crew and get it to use that MCP server as a tool. So let's go ahead and run the Python function here to run the standard input and output demo. So it's gonna kick off. What it's gonna be trying to solve is the square root of 2.25. 
and we should get an answer here shortly of what that is. And the answer just hint it should be 1.5. So we'll, let's see if it's going to get that right. All right. So it finished. We got 1.5, which is correct, the correct answer. But if we go all the way up to where we started the run and you can see here, we started the run and we printed out the tools that, that we have in our server. So add, subtract, multiply, divide, power, square root, which is correct. It got all the tools that we need. And then if we look at the kind of like the reasoning process that it did here, we have it passed in the arguments 2.5 as the number. And then it picked the right tool there to, do, to, to get the job done. And then it got the answer from that and it passed the answer back to us. So that's pretty simple and direct. And the other thing we could do as well here is add another problem just for, for fun. Add another math problem for you to solve for us. Maybe we should try, maybe let's do power, power 2.25 to the power of two. Now let's run that as well. There you go. Now that's kicked off again. And you can see it's also listing the tools that we, that we, that, we, that it has within that server. So we have the base 2.25 and the exponent of two. And the answer it's already finished is 5.0625, which is correct. So it's using the tools as we expect it to do. So that wraps up the standard input and output. Now we'll go over to the SSC demo. Now let's look at how we integrate deployed MCP server, which is server sent events to be able to use that as a tool within crew AI. So at the moment you can deploy MCP servers to Cloudflare, for example, and other providers out there and get an endpoint, which can actually use it within your agents to be able to, to use that as a, as a tool, especially within crew AI. And what we would do up here as well, is just go ahead and import the MCP server adapter like we did earlier. And what you would need in this case to kind of build up that SSE parameter here is you need the server parameter, but the only thing we need here this time is just a URL which is in a dictionary and the URL should point to your MCP server there. And so here we also create that object that we created the MCP server adapter just like earlier. And we pass in that parameter, which has our endpoint there and that converts that into tools and that adapts that MCP server and converts it into crew AI tools. And then we list all the tools that are within that MCP server. And then we just pass it to the agent here. So it's pretty magical there. And the one we're using is, is a free one that's open uh, and it was deployed by Cloudflare. Basically, it's a MCP server that hosts their docs essentially. So you're able to query their docs through that MCP server. So it's a tool to query their docs. Uh, it's easy to think of it that way. So here I build an agent called Cloudflare, Cloudflare Doc Searcher. So it finds answers to questions about Cloudflare products using the available MCP tool and the airflow assistance, blah, blah, blah. We give it the tools there and let's also make it verbose equals to true because we don't know what's doing. And then here, the task, find the answer to question again here, using that variable, we're going to pass it down here, the variable itself or what we wanted to, what, what we want to ask of the server or the tool itself and get the answer from the documentation. And once it's done doing its thing with kind of getting your answers, creating a very detailed and accurate answer for you, it should output the final output in output folder and the document should be in markdown file. So that way we can consume that well. So. Let's go ahead and run it. And we're kicking off with a question there. So Cloudflare docs, how may I help you? So let's go ahead and kick that off. And we're running this SSC client. And let me open the side here so we can see the output folder once it's done. And the question we're just gonna ask it is, how do you add auth to a deployed MCP server? Or oh, So let's go ahead and ask it. So how to auth to remote MCP server on Cloudflare. So it's gonna kick off. And as you see here, MCP tool, the only tool we have available for us is search Cloudflare documentation, which is fine because that's what we want to do anyways. So the agent here is going to take my query. It's going to then pass it over to the server itself. It's going to, of course, adapt it to the crew AI way of passing inputs and outputs. And then it's going to pass it to the, to the, to the tool. The tool is going to query Cloudflare docs, which is all this docs that's related to my query. And we're going to go down here where it's already kind of parsed the entire output it received from Cloudflare docs and generated a final response, walking me through how to actually add authentication to my MCP server. So my remote MCP server. So let's go ahead and look at the output, uh, how that looks like, cause it's in Markdown. And I have this MDX nice extension that shows you the Markdown pretty well. So here you see, it, this is the final answer it gave us to, to add OAuth through remote MCP server and Cloudflare, follow these steps. So create and deploy MCP server. And it's walking me through the entire steps, which is pretty cool. And that's a wrap for this video. I highly encourage you to go try it out. Give us your feedback about how the implementation works. If you run into any issue, please check our documentation first. If you can't find an answer there, please visit our community at community.crewai.com. And we have a really vibrant community there. They will answer your questions. We are also in there. We'll answer your questions and try to help you to get deploying agents and building agents. So until the next video, see ya.